Hello, my darling loves. Welcome to your love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides, Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages. Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for my Virgos, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Clarity. Guidance. Love messages <clears throat> for my Virgos, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. What love messages do my Virgos need to hear today, please? All right, so we're going to do a you versus them, okay? So we have the Eight of Cups and the Tower. Aries, Scorpionic Energy. The Eight of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. We have the High Priestess. Cancer, Piscean energy, and we have the Nine of Wands. Virgo, so there's one person here, sorry, uh, the Hanged Man, Piscean energy. So I don't know if this is you, Virgo. I don't know if this is your person, but there is someone here who has either completely physically walked away or... There is someone here who is emotionally unhinging from the connection. And I feel like some, it's just going to catch someone out of nowhere. Like, wait a minute, I thought we were working on this. I thought we were a team. I thought we were doing this together. And then, boom, out of nowhere, someone just disappears. Um, I feel like for whoever this is, it's going to hurt, but they're not going to show it. Okay? It's going to hurt, but they're not going to show how much it hurts. And with the hanged man, I feel like someone here may just not say anything because they're in pain and they don't want to appear vulnerable. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, so they're just going to not speak. Like someone's just kind of like in shock over something is, is really the energy that I'm picking up here. Someone's just in shock like, whoa, what just happened? I thought we had a plan. I thought we were doing okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? And like someone's just like, what the hell just happened? And they just don't want to speak because they just, they're hurt. Someone here feels hurt. The Eight of Cups and the King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, the Tower and the King of Wands. Leo Sagittarius energy. Yeah, there's like this energy of maybe someone here got very sharp with their mouth. Someone here got super defensive, cut someone off. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting that someone here maybe had like an emotional outburst. You know, because that King of Wands energy can get very passionate with the, with, you know what I'm saying? Like someone here, you know, you don't want to piss off a Leo. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to, even a Sag or an Aries, they, they, you know, when they get mad, they'll, they'll, they'll set your whole house on fire. You know what I'm saying? When they get mad, this is someone who got really mad, really upset and said some really sharp things. Okay. Eight of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. Five of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. So someone here was counting on a future, Virgo. Like this person had a vision of a future, working together, building something, and now that's like gone. The High Priestess and the Nine of Wands again. Yes, yeah, someone's not going to show. They're not going to say how they're feeling here. Uh, the Nine of Wands and the Eight of Cups. It's going to hurt that someone here is walking away. With the Hanged Man and the Fool card, um, I don't feel that this person is going to move on very quickly. For whoever this is, I don't feel like they're going to move on very quickly. I feel like they're going to wait to see maybe if this comes back together again. Okay? Let's see here. Spirit, what other messages do we have for my Virgos, please? What other messages do we have here for my Virgos, please? What other messages do we have here for my Virgos, please? Three of Swords. And the Eight of Swords. Okay, so this person... See, everything happens for a reason, because we were listening to this side, Virgo, and I felt bad for this person. I'm like, why? Why did they get left behind? But see, this person here, um, a tremendous amount of heartache, Virgo. 
someone here was either put in a third party at some point in time. I don't really know if that third party is currently in existence because this person is kind of shocked at the events taking place. So maybe, maybe there was a reconciliation that took place and this person was really all in wanting to work things out. And I feel like this person can't seem to forget the heartache. This person is still stuck on the fact that they were put on a third party or still hurt. Um, Seven of Cups and the Four of Cups. Yeah, see, this person here is very much stuck in their head that there's other people that... Um, Yeah, I, I feel like this person here, now I, maybe it's not happening because that Eight of Swords is also an energy of it's all in your head. Do you see what I'm saying? So maybe it's not physically happening. Ace of Swords and the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So someone here is in this energy of being unhappy, feeling rejected, not feeling... Um, safe, not feeling stable. Someone's confidence is down because they feel like there's other people. Under the deck, the page of pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. This person may be coming in to say, listen, please listen to me because the truth is I love you. This Queen of Cups energy here, we could be dealing with a water sign. It doesn't have to be, though. Okay, it doesn't have to be. Um, please, you know, listen to me. I, an apology is coming in. I, I'm telling you the truth. I love you. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you the truth. I want to be with you. So let's see. Let's see what we have here. Spirit, tell me about this Three of Swords, because it, it may be, i got to be honest, guys, it might be in this person's head, you know? So Virgo, if you find yourself on the side, just be careful. Like, if you don't have proof, you know, just don't destroy a whole relationship. Three of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy again. Eight of Swords and the Ten of Swords. I feel like someone here maybe was dating two people at one time or making promises to two people at one time. Or maybe someone here took a long time to commit because there was three people in the picture and it caused this person a tremendous amount of pain. And this person isn't going to forget that pain. Seven of Cups to the Nine of Cups. The Four of Cups and the Three of Swords. So you see, someone here wanted at one point in time to keep their options wide open. Um, and I feel like whoever was on this side was maybe breadcrumbed or mistreated or rejected due to a third party. Do you understand? And this person is, is now still wallowing in that pain. Ace of Swords and the Two of Cups. Queen of Cups and the Five of Swords. So the truth of the matter here is, Virgo, that this is a soulmate connection. Okay? The truth of the matter is, is that this person loves you and this person is also in love. Problem is, with this Queen of Cups and this Five of Swords, someone here is having a lot of emotional confliction. Let's just put it that way. This person's mind is playing all types of tricks on them, but not for no reason. It's not like this person's crazy. Um, this person's mind is playing tricks on them because they were hurt so badly in the past by this person. Page of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. Yeah, so I feel like this person, and there may be an age difference between you and this person, uh, by the way, um, but I feel like this person may wait a little bit and then take that leap trying to speak to this person. Um, but I feel that with the Page of Pentacles and the Six of Wands, something is going to be said here that's going to gain victory in the situation. We've got the Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups. So you see the Two of Cups here twice. So someone here is coming in to speak their truth, Virgo, okay? Could be you going towards someone, someone coming towards you. They want a new beginning. Someone here feels a soulmate connection, okay? Someone here feels a soulmate connection. So the challenge here is maybe awakening to the fact that this is real, 
and that this is happening. The challenge is, is that this person needs to believe and see the truth for what it is, that this person is actually wanting a life and a future. Do you see what I'm saying? You know, like... We deal with people and we have these toxic relationships, right? And nothing ever works out. We're so used to being hurt by the person that we love that they're fine. You know, it would appear to me that this person is finally getting their, their stuff together here, finally getting their life together, wanting to do the right thing. But this person isn't used to that. This person is used to constantly being hurt. Do you understand? So they're always kind of like on the ready, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> to be like, you know, they come in, someone comes in with roses, like, okay, what are you up to? What did you do? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of like, it's difficult, you know, it's very difficult. So I was going to pull for the outcome. So the outcome here, we've got the sun, we've got the ten of pentacles, and under the, de ooh, the page of cups and the ten, wow, this is one heck of an outcome, Virgo. Okay, so we've got the sun card, Leo energy, the ten of pentacles, page of wands, Leo Sagittarius, the ten of cups, and the three of pentacles. Someone here is saying, listen, I want to have babies with you. I want to, you have all of my love, all of, ten, for me, the Ten of Pentacles is my favorite card in the whole deck because it means that you've just reached all your goals in love, in money. You know, you got that house, you got whatever it is that you've been planning to achieve. It's there. Do you understand what I'm saying? And I feel like that there's going to be a conversation here, Virgo, where this person wants it all with you. Or you're going to be going in and, you know, it could be vice versa, okay? We've got dark thoughts and deception. Someone here, Virgo, is very much in their head thinking that there's a third party. Hardcore. Like, you know what I'm saying? This person's going hard. Um, the loving woman and true love. When, in fact, it is not true. Someone here has um, all of someone's love. This is true love, okay? Indecision. The world and caring connection. Now look at this Virgo. It is true that in the past this person maybe was undecided, okay? So again, the person that's having these negative thoughts is not crazy, okay? They're not crazy, but that cycle has ended. That cycle has ended, and now we're moving on to this beautiful soulmate connection, Virgo. This is probably one of the most beautiful readings I've done for Virgo, so I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. Um, someone here, maybe you attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. Someone here maybe just stopped caring and just, you know, just decided, hey, listen, whatever's meant for me is meant for me, and that's it. And we have it safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So, as soon as someone here surrendered to the universe and was just like, listen, whatever's for me is for me, that's when this beautiful love comes in um, that is safe, that you can trust, okay? Even though it's difficult to trust because this person has hurt you in the past, okay? All right, guys, I love you and take care. Bye.